Kashmir to Kanyakumari. India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. Yoga, an ancient Indian heritage renowned for its ability to strengthen bodies and quiet mind is now captivating the world. The initiative by the Indian government to commemorate its cultural heritage in the form of International Yoga Day has united participants from around the globe. In this pursuit, let's delve into India's transformational journey that encompasses physical, mental and spiritual wellness. Let's have a look. In India, yoga is more than just physical postures on a mat. It's a deeply ingrained cultural and spiritual practice interwoven with the country's history and identity. Yoga is an efficient art of calming the mind. Regular practice of yoga asanas is very helpful in enhancing the quality of life. Moreover, yoga beyond physical fitness also aims for self-realization, liberation from suffering and union with the divine. The origin of yoga can be traced back to Indian texts and scriptures like the Vedas and the Upanishads dating back to some 5000 years ago. With changing times, increasing awareness about health and achieving peace of mind Yoga is proving to be a boom for the whole world. As every year, many enthusiasts come to India from around the globe to learn, understand and include yoga in their daily routine. The International Yoga Day has also acted as a catalyst and has interconnected the yoga community across the globe. पूरा विश्व योग में हो गया है जहां देखो हर कोने में योग हो गया है हर घर में योग हो गया है हर घट में योग हो गया है हर घाट पे योग है और अब तो हर हाट में भी योग होने लगा है बाजारों में भी योग की इतना मांग हो गई है और अब तो बड़े बड़े कॉरपोरेट्स भी अगर जीवन में बैलेंस लाना है तो योग और ध्यान की बात करने लगे हैं आप देखिए ना हमारे इंटरनेशनल योग फेस्टिवल में सौ देशों से ज़्यादा लोग होते हैं इसका मतलब सभी धर्म सभी देशों में जब आएंगे तो धर्म भी सारे आते हैं लेकिन वो यहाँ आकर अपने अपने धर्म का पालन करते हुए लेकिन योग में बन जाते हैं दे आर मेनी योगा सेंटर्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री वेर द नंबर ऑफ फॉरनर्स हैज बिन इंक्रीजिंग ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स विच ऑल्सो शो केसेस हाउ पॉपुलर योगा हैज बिकम in recent times the calm and serene environment of uttarakhand's rishikesh attracts foreigners the most the serene banks of the sacred ganga river and the mountains here further increase the pleasure of doing yoga these yoga centers are run by saints and sages who have been propagating the traditional form of yoga तो पूरा विश्व भारत के ओर देखते हैं फॉर द ट्रूथ फॉर दैट टच फॉर दैट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर द रियल ट्रेडिशनल योग सो द योग गुरुज ऑफ इंडिया आर एक्चुअली द वंस जिसको सब देख रहे हैं कि एक्चुअली व्हाट इज द ट्रूथ व्हाट इज द डेप्थ व्हाट इज द रियलिटी लेकिन योग एक गिफ्ट Bharat Mata said, "Yoga is a gift of India. It is a gift of the sages and the saints and the yogis. Jo yahan pe Himali me baithke apna dhyan karte hue, apna yog karte hue, channeled these teachings for the world." 
and India is, of course, to thank for this. You know, without India and without this beautiful tradition that has been preserved for thousands of years, uh, we would not have the gift of this universal system of self-discovery, this universal system of connecting us to ourselves, to each other and to the divine. Yoga comprises various schools and techniques, each with its unique philosophy and goals. Some of the popular styles of yoga include Hatha, Raj, Bhakti and Jnana Yoga. One of the uniqueness of yoga is that it still upholds the traditional teacher-student relationships with students seeking guidance and wisdom from gurus. This place is so powerful that uh, it, yeah, it just transformed my life and I'm very grateful that this ashram accepts foreigners and women as students. The United Nations General Assembly made history on December 11, 2014 when it adopted a proposal from 175 countries to declare International Yoga Day on the 21st of June. Ever since then, it has been celebrated with great enthusiasm in and around the world. On the 9th International Yoga Day in the year 2023, Prime Minister Narendra Modi led a yoga session at the UN headquarters where a large number of people participated. Organized on the theme of Vasudev Kutumbakam, representatives from 135 countries participated in the grand event which also was registered in the Guinness World Records. देश दुनिया के करोड़ों लोगों का इतने सहज स्वरूप में शामिल होना योग के प्रसार और प्रसिद्धि को उसके महत्वाय को उजागर करता है। Yoga has got a new direction due to such efforts of the government of India. While the whole world is getting familiarized with the culture of India through yoga, the business of yoga is also booming owing to its popularity in the country. Driven by the huge popularity of yoga, many new yoga centers are being established in the country, leading to the high demand for yoga teachers, which is also going to be beneficial for the economic growth of the nation. Moving on, India recently observed Republic Day on January 26, marking its 75th anniversary of being a Republican nation. On 26 January 1950, the Constitution of India came into effect. With that, the country witnessed people from all across India soak up the spirit of nationalism, transcending religious divides. Let's have a look at how India rejoiced in this festival of nationalism. The tale of India's struggle for freedom has been heard around the world, though not many actually know that the nation attained its final stage of Poonda Swaraj only after the Indian constitution was promulgated on January 26, 1950. This year marked the 75th anniversary of India's being a republican nation. And with that, happiness swept across the country, leaving people overwhelmed with the growing feelings of patriotism. Be it Hindus, Muslims, Christians or Sikhs, the occasion painted everyone alike in the colour of nationalism, bringing all under one roof. In this spirit, following the years long tradition, India's flag was unfurled across the nation by chief ministers, governors and many other dignitaries. The President of India, Draupadi Murmu, led the nation in celebrating Republic Day as she unfurled the national flag at Kartavipat in New Delhi, while welcoming Emmanuel Macron, the President of France, as a chief guest in this national extravaganza. Moreover, the event also led to the display of Nari Shakti as the women contingents enthralled the onlookers with their motorcycle stunts and marched past on the Kartavipat. Captain Sandhya, who was leading the first ever tri service contingent at the Republic Day Parade, said the experience was amazing to witness all women soldiers from all three services. 
I am Captain Sandhya and I am leading the first ever women tri services contingent in the Republic Day Parade 2024. The experience of uh, witnessing uh, women soldiers from all three services coming together as one contingent uh, is uh, amazing, it is remarkable. And we came here as three different components, but we trained together as one. And uh, now we are marching together on the Kartavya path as ambassadors of Nari Shakti. In an instance, adding to the fervor of national festival, local women in Jammu and Kashmir's Boniar were witness stitching national flags. The enthusiastic women from the self-help group were nurtured by the Indian Army, which assisted them with all the essentials to carry out their initiative towards national integration and empowerment. I have made a flag with my hands today. I am very happy because I have got the opportunity to serve the country. को वो का मिला है आज तो 26 जनवरी आने वाली है मैंने उसके लिए तीन दिन में 10 बार ना फ्लैग्स बनाए। Furthermore, people rejoice in the grand occasion through dance programs, march pass and parades showcasing the country's military power and cultural heritage. On the occasion of 75th Republic Day, the Srinagar District Administration decorated the rooftops of 120 Shikara boats on Dal Lake in tricolor. The Shikara boats together showcase three colors of the national flag that is saffron, white and green with an Ashok Chakra in the middle. Today, हमारा पूरा देश 75 साल आजादी का मना रहा है और जैसे पूरे देश में डिफरेंट इवेंट्स हो रहे हैं वैसे ही आज कश्मीर वैली में भी अलग-अलग जगहों पे हम देख रहे हैं कि कैसे यहाँ के लोग सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं इस पूरे दिन को। Festivals like these are crucial in nation building and the integration of the country as one, as this not only fosters an unbreakable bond between the communities but also brings everyone under one roof as a family. Moreover, the display of Indian culture, its potential and the military might warn the enemies of their malicious intentions, while it also paves the way for foreign investments and calls for friendships. And now, some of the stories that made news recently. Wax figure of Indian yoga guru and entrepreneur Baba Ramdev was unveiled at Madame Tussauds in Delhi. ये सम्मान है योग का, ये सम्मान है भारत की सनातन सांस्कृतिक विरासत का ज्ञान, विज्ञान, प्रज्ञान और अपनी गौरवशाली भारत की उस अध्यात्म की परंपरा का, जिसको हमारे पूर्वजों ने जिया। Ramdev said the wax figure was an appreciation for yoga and India's eternal cultural heritage. Madame Tussauds hopes the wax figure will motivate people across the globe to adopt a yogic lifestyle. The wax figure will be displayed at New York where it will join with 200 global icons including Cristiano Ronaldo, Jennifer Lopez and Matthew McConaughey. Artists from Royal Ballet Theatre of Asian country Laos on Sunday performed scenes from the India's Hindu epic Ramayan in temple town of Ayodhya, where the Ram Temple was recently inaugurated. We have uh, uh, three times performed in Ayutthaya and every time we, we are very, very uh, we feeling, you know, that uh, Indian people especially in Ayutthaya, is very, very friendly, yeah, and they are very uh, enjoy our uh, perform. The troupe enthralled the audience by playing a scene from the Fra Lak Fra Lam, the Laos version of the Ramayan, where goddess Sita was being kidnapped by demon king Ravan, and Jatayu, a vulture deity, tries to rescue her in an unsuccessful attempt. Ramayan is popular in a number of Buddhist countries including Laos, Cambodia and Thailand. Ram Temple was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a site believed to be the God King's birthplace.
Hindu groups Modi's Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party and its affiliates have portrayed the opening as part of a Hindu renaissance after past centuries of subjugation by Muslim invaders and colonial powers. Moving on, let's take you to the Gujarat's Rajkot, which recently has transformed the walls of its central jail into canvases, depicting colourful murals with powerful social messages. The initiative by the Central Jail Authority in collaboration with the Mission Smart City Trust is considered a life-changing effort for the prisoners as it would motivate them to pursue better life. Take a look. Located in the centre of the Sharashtra region of Gujarat, Rajkot is the fourth largest city in the state. The city has long been popular for its beautiful embroidery pieces, jewellery designs and textile traditions. Besides, Rajkot had a significant influence on the Indian independence movement as it was home to many personalities like Mahatma Gandhi, who had been the backbone of the freedom movement. Keeping faith in Gandhian ideology, the Chitra Nagri Mission Smart City Trust has recently launched a unique drive, partnering with the Central Jail Authority in Gujarat's Rajkot to adorn the jail walls with vibrant murals carrying powerful social messages. The initiative aims to bring positive change to prisoners and to help them pursue a better life post-release. हम सोचते हैं कि जेल की दीवार काले होती है तो हम इन दीवारों को बोलती दीवार बोलना बनाना चाहते हैं को कुछ ना कुछ मैसेज दे यहाँ जो कैदी घूमते कच्चे काम में आते कन्विक्ट होते अंडर ट्रायल होते तो आके वो उसको एक मैसेज मिले कि आपकी एक छोटी सी भूल आपके परिवार को कितनी महंगी पड़ती है तो वो सोचेगा और यहाँ से जाने के बाद वो प्रयत्न करेगा कि वापस दोबारा कोई क्राइम ना करे More than 90 artists were involved to show their creativity and transform the jail walls into canvases with life-changing messages. During the drive, the artists were seen actively depicting colourful paintings on around 100 different themes intricately shaping and colouring them as per the photographs. The wall paintings illustrating quit smoking, no to domestic violence, law and justice and book reading habits are regarded as a crucial step in reforming the lives of the prisoners and preventing crimes. Today, we have come to the central jail of Rajkot and we are working on 90 people from the morning at 9 o'clock. करीबन 150-160 पेंटिंग्स हो जाएंगे शाम तक। इनिशिएटिव्स लाइक दिस वुड नॉट जस्ट हेल्प द प्रिजनर्स इन परसुइंग द राइट पाथ फॉर देयर फर्दर लाइफ्स, बट वुड आल्सो हेल्प सोसाइटी एस अ होल इन ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इनटू अ बेटर प्लेस टू लिव। एंड नाउ some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Tokyo Metropolitan Government is spearheading decarbonization activity at Morigasaki Water Reclamation Center in Ota District, Tokyo. The latest solar power generation perovskite solar cell set up as a demonstration experiment. ペロスカイト太陽電池なんですけれどもこちらはあのこれまでの従来型のシリコン太陽電池と比較しまして非常に薄くて軽いという特徴を持っていますさらに加えてですね曲げることもできるような電池になっておりましてまあの様々な場所へ設置ができるといったまあ期待が持たれている次世代の太陽電池です東京都は2030年までに
再生可能エネルギーの利用割合を 50% 程度まで高めるということを目指しましてさまざまな取り組みを行っております多くの建物があるといった特色を生かしてこの新しい技術電池をですね設置していくことができるだろうとで再生可能エネルギーのさらなる拡大につなげていけるといったところで非常に期待が大きいところでございます。Perovskite solar cell is a Japanese original technology, and about 30% of the world's production of iodine, the main material, is produced in Japan. Morigasaki Water Reclamation Center is the facility to purify sewage water to release it into the river or the sea in Tokyo. It is the biggest one out of 13 facilities in Tokyo. Its operation needs a lot of electricity. To supply electricity and make progress in decarbonization, Morigasaki Center installed many solar panels. Assuming future possibilities, Tokyo Met accepts setting up a perovskite solar cell. Japanese sushi is a very popular meal all over the world. At the beginning of the worldwide sushi boom, The treatment of raw fish was not necessarily perfect. To overcome this situation, Japanese sushi experts walk around the world to teach the correct treatment of raw fish, keeping traditional sushi cooking in check. Sushi is getting more and more popular, and especially among the young people. It's trendy, it's healthy, it's convenient, and、uh, the Japanese image to it is very important also in Norway. This year, 15 finalists from eight countries competed in the event. Judges mark points on each finalist's creative sushi. The World Sushi Cup evaluated normal sushi cooking, while also decoratively creating sushi for each finalist. Creative sushi reflects each finalist's image and the country's culture. In the long history of Sushi Cup, cacao tasting sushi was presented by a Belgian sushi chef. Sushi culture strengthens ties between Japan and Norway. Current sushi treats salmon. The spread of Japanese sushi culture accelerated the export of Norwegian salmon. A Norwegian person was nominated as one of the judges. A Portuguese chef won the World Championship event this time. The World Sushi Cup history proves that authentic worldwide sushi booms have raised sushi skills, and fusions have emerged in each country's meal culture. And lastly, in a bid to develop the road infrastructure and connect hamlets and towns in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, the Border Road Organisation has recently completed 11 projects. The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh inaugurated two bridges in Akhnur sector, four bridges in Rajouri, and several other road infrastructural development projects in the Union Territory through video conferencing. We have a report. The roads and bridges are the symbols of development, prosperity, and growth for any region. In line with its efforts to connect each and every village of Jammu and Kashmir and bring prosperity, the government of India has kept road infrastructure development as its chief priority. A few weeks ago, the Border Road Organisation, an entity under the Ministry of Defence, completed 11 road infrastructure development projects in the Union Territory. As a part of road infrastructure, two bridges in Akhnur sector and four bridges in Rajouri were inaugurated by the Defence Minister Rajnath Singh through an online video conferencing event. Two bridges are the Akhnur one bridge and the other is the Kannanala bridge, which is on the border of Akhnur and the border of the village. So, many people have to face many problems. So, in the case of the emergency, there is a snake bite or a delivery case in the case of the emergency, there is a snake bite or a delivery case. तो यहाँ पे हम क्रॉस नहीं कर पाते थे तो चार पाँच घंटे का जो समय लगता था सुंदरवनी से होकर अखनूर जाना पड़ता था तो इस ब्रिज से कम से कम इतना तो है कि हम एक डेढ़ घंटे में अखनूर पहुंच सकते हैं द टू ब्रिजेस कन्हा इन जोगवान विलेज एंड करगी इन मावा करोरा एरिया इन अखनूर सेक्टर हैव रिलीव द जनरल पब्लिक फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम दे यूज टू फेस वाइल कम्यूटिंग The residents were thankful to the government and the Border Road Organization, or BRO, for the construction of the bridges. The bridges would save a lot more of their time during commute. बहुत ही 
ही खुशी है जिसकी कोई हद ही नहीं है क्योंकि जब से ये सृष्टि जा रही है इसका इंतजार रहा हम बहुत दूर पार के स्टेटों में देखते थे ऐसे ब्रिज पर आज हम अपने जहाँ देख रहे हैं अपने गांव में इसकी और क्या खुशी हो सकती है गवर्नमेंट की को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करते हैं The BRO has constructed four more bridges in Rajouri which were also inaugurated by the defense minister during the event two bridges on Rajouri Kotranaka Budhal road and two more bridges at Kalakote Metka and Mogla locations are now fully operational the four bridges in hilly and far flung areas of Rajouri are all set to boost the local economy of the region बात बहुत खुशी की है बिकॉज एक इलाके की डेवलपमेंट के लिए उसके सोशल इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ के लिए रोड्स और ब्रिजेस का बनना बहुत ज़रूरी है जहाँ पे रोड्स और ब्रिजेस होंगे वहीं डेवलपमेंट जो है उतनी ही तेज़ी से होगी तो आज ये रजौरी कंडी बुद्धल का जो हमारा एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण रोड है बिकॉज ये रोड जो है वो काफ़ी दूर इलाके को जोड़ता है रजौरी के इम्पॉर्टेंट टाउन को तो आज ये जो आर के बी रोड है उसका डबल लेन आज इन दोनों ब्रिजेस के उद्घाटन से ये पूरा हुआ है और इस पुल की इस जगह पर सर मैं आपको बताऊं कि इतनी ज़रूरत थी बरसात के दिनों में या जब बर्फ पिघल के आती है अगले फेबरवरी के दिनों में तो ये जो नाला अभी सूखा हुआ दिखाई देता है इसमें बहुत ज़्यादा पानी आता है और बरसात में तो जून जुलाई अगस्त सेप्टेम्बर में तो यहाँ एकदम पानी का भाव बहुत तेज़ होता है यहाँ के लोगों को गाड़ी वालों को स्कूल जाने वाले बच्चों को बहुत ज़्यादा परेशानी होती थी और कई बार बच्चे स्कूल नहीं जा पाते थे और गाड़ियाँ जो हैं इसके दोनों किनारों पे उधर की उधर और इधर की इधर जो है रुक जाती थी ये पुल बनने से न जगलानू पंचायत को छोड़ते हुए बुद्धल और राजौरी ये जितना तकरीबन जो हमारा ब्लाक बुद्धल न्यू और ब्लाक बुद्धल ओल्ड की जो आवाम है इस सब को इस ब्रिज का जो है बहुत बड़ा फायदा है देर आर मल्टीपल बेनिफिट ऑफ इम्प्रूविंग द रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द रीजन फॉर द जनरल पब्लिक द प्रोजेक्ट आर नथिंग लेस देन अबूल द अनमैच पेस ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल ग्रोथ इन द रीजन एंड स्कीम्स डायरेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द कॉमन मैन हैव ब्रॉड प्रोग्रेस टू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ऑन ऑल फ्रंट्स And that's all we have for you this week. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.